There are so many great versions of Asian chicken and rice. This Vietnamese version with the tangy salad, the chicken, the rice, oh my goodness, so good. This is my version of Hoi An chicken and rice. So I've just got a few little very easy techniques to make your chicken and rice really perfect. The first one has to do with the chicken. So I think you want to take the time to get a little bit of your kind of chicken off cuts if you like. So if you have a look at your chicken here, we can afford to take off a few of these fattier kind of skin bits, get ourselves some chickeny flavor into the rice. And you just want to kind of cut these bits up. There's really no lovely name for these bits. <laughs> it's basically chicken fat that you want to just dice up a little bit here to allow more of that lovely flavor and fat to render out when we're cooking it. Now I'm just gonna pop those little pieces into a pan here. This is the saucepan that's going to cook the rice. And I basically just wanna let these guys sizzle really gently until they're really lovely and golden. So in the meantime, we can get onto our chicken. Now the whole chicken is gonna be poached in a really lovely fragrant broth that we're then gonna use as a soup later on. So the chicken goes into my chicken stock here. That was a weird sound. <laughs> And to add a little bit more flavor to that broth, I'm gonna add in an onion, some ginger, and one last thing we want here is some turmeric, because uh, at the end of this dish, we get this really beautiful golden-hued chicken and a really lovely golden broth, and it's the turmeric that helps us out with that color. Now just bring this up to a simmer and let it gently cook for about an hour. Okay, let's come back here and have a look at our chicken fat. That's looking lovely, things are golden, I've got some of that lovely chickeny goodness in the bottom of my pan. So I can take the chicken out. And then in goes my rice. Just toss that rice around a little bit. Get it making friends with that chickeny flavor. And now I wanna borrow a little bit of my chicken broth here. So I'm gonna take about two and a half cups of that lovely broth. I just turn the heat down and let that rice cook until it's beautifully steamed through. I also want to make some pickled vegetables here. So this is gonna form the basis of like our tangy salad that goes with the chicken and rice. So I'm gonna go in with my onion first, but carrot strips, some finely julienne daikon radish as well. Some sugar to that, I wanna add some vinegar and some salt. Let's give that a mix. Just let that pickle work its magic while the chicken's cooking. And one other little condiment that we need is some Vietnamese nook chum. So this is like a sweet, sour dipping or drizzle sauce. And I've made this lots of times on my channel. You guys can check out the video on how to make it. But it's basically um, vinegar, sugar, lime juice, chopped chili, chopped garlic, and you get this wonderful, sweet, tangy business going on. Now that the chicken is cooked, you can take it out of the broth and just remove those legs. Now the breast meat, you can just shred up and that's gonna form the basis of our tangy salad. To the chicken breast, I'm going to add our pickled veg, which is nicely tangy by now. And I've got some Vietnamese mint here, also known as a laksa leaf, if you can find it in your local area. If you can't find Vietnamese mint, you could use regular mint as well. I just mix all of that through. And I love that you're getting this like kind of two for one deal. You've got your chicken salad here that's all tangy and like herby. Plus you've got your beautifully braised chicken leg and like so many things going on. Ah, oh, so good. Okay, so to serve this up, you need some of your broth. And I mean, that has some delicious flavor. And you want some of your nook charm dressing as well. Some of that really lovely golden rice. Your leg of chicken and then that lovely salad. And just a final little bit of zhuzhing here, I want some fried shallots. And I mean, this is the kind of Asian dish that I just love. You know, you're making use of all the bits and pieces, the broth, the chicken, the rice, even the little fatty bits of the chicken, and you've got this wonderful spread. This is my version of the famous Hoi An chicken and rice, and wow, like, I cannot wait to get in here. Got some rice and some chicken. Mm. It 
does all the things a good Asian chicken and rice is supposed to do. You know, you get that comforting poached, like soft chicken uh, texture, the rice, which is so deeply chickeny and yum. And that little pickled salad. Mm, it was like a little pop of freshness. Mm, so good. Yum. Hey guys, if you wanna know whenever I'm releasing something new and delicious, then you should hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that I can let you know every time something new is coming out. Thanks, see you.